welcome back to the channel it is saturday june the 3rd my name is erica if you are into all things home decor lifestyle um all things decorating decor for your home that black white gray aesthetic then please make sure that you do subscribe to the channel i would love to have you so today guys is super exciting because i finally finally decided to go ahead and purchase me an espresso um, the particular machine that I got is the Nespresso Virtuo Plus. And I was highly inspired by um, Janae Jax and um, Erica from It's E Lifestyle. So um, I've been watching their channel forever, but I'm also a coffee lover. I love me some Starbucks and I'm constantly getting their um, iced grande white chocolate mocha. That is my go-to drink. Um, year-round and then of course during the fall season I love their iced pumpkin spice latte so I decided to go ahead and invest in me a machine so I could start making my favorite drinks at home so this is the machine that I got like I said it is the Nespresso Vituro Plus and I wanted to go ahead and just do an unboxing with you guys and just share um, some of the pods that I picked up and I also did a pretty nice size haul um, from Amazon as far as the accessories that I want to um, set up for my new uh, coffee bar. So let's get right into it you guys. So let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and get it open. So I ordered the, um, the black and white machine because my home is, um, it's a neutral decorated home. So I definitely wanted something that would tie in really nicely with my black and white kitchen. And I thought that this one was perfect. So let's see here. I did order it from um, the Nespresso online boutique. Shipping was super fast. I ordered it during the Memorial Day weekend. So. Um, I saved 25% on this machine and like I said, the shipping was super fast and so as you can see here, it comes with all of these little guides for you to read up on. It also comes with a quick guide as well. So that's what you see when you first open it and then from there, you have this phone on top here. I'll just take that out. Set that to the side over here. Oh my goodness. So exciting. All right. So you have the, um, the, um, glass to hold the, or the tube to hold the water that's attached to it. And then it also comes with two trays that will be attached to it as well. So let's set that over here. And now for the start of the show is the machine itself. So let's get the wrapping off of it. This looks so good. This thing is pretty heavy too, so nice and solid. So this is what it looks like. This would be the front of the machine. And then the water uh, pump would go right there off to the side. So that's what the machine looks like. I'm also going to get it set up and like I said, um, redo my coffee bar. But I also want to show you guys what else came with this, with this amazing machine. So you also get some recyclable bags because the pods are recyclable. So they send you, I requested two bags. I think they only send you one unless you ask for more. And you put the pods in here and they also have a, uh, a shipping label. So you can drop it off at any UPS. They make it super convenient. You can drop it in one of the boxes and that way you're able to recycle the pods. So I'm definitely going to participate in that program. And you also receive some sample um, pods. So I thought that was amazing. I did not realize that I was going to get this big of a box, but 
that is what the box looks like. And then on the inside, you open it up and I'll take off this little sleeve right there, but you get all types of pods to try. I can appreciate the marketing and um, the big push on trying all the different pods. And then up here at the top, it describes each pod um, and goes into a little bit of detail on each one. So it's a total of 12 pods. And I think that that's pretty generous from a company. The total price that I paid for the machine with the discount, um, plus I ordered three sleeves and you get 10 pods in a sleeve. So that's a total of 30 pods. I paid $172 total for everything. I also got free shipping, so that was really nice. So that is the sample set that it comes with. And it also came with this other little small sample set right here. The box looks like that. And when you open it up, you've got two additional pods in there. So I thought that was super neat very generous. But like I said, I also ordered some pods as well. So on the site, um, there's a description for each pod and I went based off of what I thought I would like. So let me show you guys the sleeves that I ordered. So the first one was the Aaron Dio is what it's called. And this one is, let's see, is it espresso or coffee? This one is, da, 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 da. it doesn't say on here. But what I do know is that I ordered two espressos and one coffee to try. And so it is five ounces. This is the espresso. So got that one. And let me show you guys what the pot looks like. So this is what the pot itself looks like. And then back here, it has the barcode because the machine reads the barcode and it knows at that point what temperature the espresso should be made at and all those things. So it's a, it's a super, super neat um, machine. So that's the first one that I got. The second box that I got was the Melozio and this is the coffee. This is the coffee, it's the Melozio and it is 7.77 .77 ounces. And this one looks like this. So this is what this pot looks like, the Melozio pot. And then the last one that I got was another espresso because my, my big thing is, is that I'm going to enjoy making um, espresso drinks at home, iced espresso, espresso drinks. And then, like I said, I ordered um, some accessories and flavored syrups from Amazon, which I'll show that to you guys here in just a bit. But this one is the Fortado, and it looks like that, and it's the little, little gray pod. So super excited, y'all, to go ahead and get started with this machine and start making some of my favorite drinks. So let me show you guys what I ordered from Amazon. So the first thing that I wanted to get was a frother. So this is the one that I chose. It's by Zule Kitchen. Let me open it up to show you guys what it looks like. Cause like I said, I want to do, redo my entire uh, coffee bar and make it, you know, what, what I want it to be. So, of course, it comes with the um, instructions and it is battery operated. So, I do have some batteries for that, but that's what it looks like. Comes in this little protective sleeve and it's, it's black. So, it has a little stand that it sits up on and comes out like that. Let's take this other plastic piece off. Yep, and that's what it looks like. It's very lightweight. Very, very lightweight. And then it just has the button on the top that you would press. 
Then I'll just put it back in the stand uh, once I'm done with it and it just sits, sits like that. So super cute. Had to have my frother because I've been watching the girls on um, Instagram and the frother does make a difference for, for the drink. I also ordered a four piece glass set um, that comes with a wooden lid and glass straws because that was an important that was important for me to have. So here's the wooden lid and the glasses look like this. Like I said, it's a four four piece set. And so they are 16 ounces and the lid fits perfectly. So that's what it looks like. If you decide to use the lid or not, I probably won't in most cases. And then the glass straw, and you just drop it in there and enjoy your beverage. Aesthetically, I think that looks so beautiful and it's going to amplify the experience even more when I'm enjoying my favorite iced coffee beverage. So got that. And it also came with, where are they? These little cleaners for the straws. So you got two little spools here to be able to clean the straws out. So I absolutely love, 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 love these glasses. Super cute. I also picked up Get this out of the way. I also picked up a pod holder because I don't want to store them in like a bucket. I don't want to put them in one of my drawers that's right um, under my coffee station. I wanted something specifically for the pods. And so I decided to invest in this gorgeous tray. I'm gonna set the Nespresso machine on top of it, but here's the tray, that's what it looks like. Very nice and sleek, and I'll pull the tray out so you guys can see the detailing. But with this tray, as you can see here, it has cutouts for you to put the pods in. And it's got like a velvet, velvet texture to it, but I really, really, really like this um, pod organizer. Super, super cute. So we have that. And last but certainly not least, I ordered me some, what are these called? Tarani, Tarani syrups. So the first one that I got was the white chocolate syrup. Got that one. I also got the pumpkin spice syrup because like I said, that is my absolute favorite drink um, is the pumpkin spice latte. So plan to make several of those. And I ordered one more, which is the English toffee. I'm waiting on that um, to be delivered. It's supposed to be delivered today. So I'll have a total of three syrups to start out with. Um, while I'm out today, I may stop by the store and grab some creamer um, as well. But the, um, the syrups also came with these pumps as well. So I'll get all of that assembled. But I feel like everything that I have thus far for this machine is a good start for me. And then as I get, um, get situated and begin to make my drinks and become like that, you know, expert, then I will add to my collection but I wanna go ahead and show you guys right now what the coffee bar looks like now before I clean it off and get everything set up. So let me get the camera and turn you guys around. Okay, y'all, so this is the current state of my coffee bar. As you can see, it's not a lot going on at all. I do have my Keurig, which I'm going to keep that up here as well um, because my mom, she enjoys using that one too. And that will just give us even more options but this is what the coffee bar is currently look, looking like. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it cleared off, clean it up, and then I will come back on so you guys can see me um, get it set up, and then we can take a look at the finished, finished results. Okay, y'all, so this is what we have going on so far. 
I wiped everything down and um, I just wanted to go ahead and place the main things over here first. So now I'm just gonna kind of play with it a little bit and kind of see where I want um, everything to go. Um, let's see here, do, 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 that's the serial number. So like I said, I cleaned everything off and now I just want to make sure that, okay, so this goes in here. This little contraption fits like that. And I like it that there's different, um, different heights that you can put this just depending on how tall your cup is. So I'm just gonna put it at the lowest one for right now. And it sits in there just, just like that. So I definitely want to have my frother up here. So maybe I will place that right there. I like this, I like that little contraption because it's such a space saver. And then I have my two syrups. As you can see, I added the uh, pumps to them. And I'm thinking that, well, let me put these for, right there for right now and grab my little sign and see if this will work for me to cover up this plug. Not so much. Let's see, I may want, I may want to use the plug over here. That may make more sense so it's not so obvious because I'm gonna put the Keurig back over here too. Like I said, I'm just gonna play with it and see what I like best. So let's add the curate back over here. And maybe this one can go here. How does that look to you guys so far? Cute so far. And let's see, will I even be able to add the plates and the cups back over here? I think, I think that the cups can go right there, maybe on each side of the sign. I don't have a whole lot of counter space in this kitchen. At least that's how I feel. I could definitely use some extra counter space. So the cups right there like that. The plates definitely will not be able to sit over there. I don't think um, when I was putting the pumps and the uh, syrups, the pumpkin spice overflowed just a little bit, so I had to pour some of that out. Just want to wipe that down again because I felt a little bit of stickiness on it. But now what I want to do is go ahead and fill up the, the pot tray down here. So we can have that. That they fit perfectly. Perfect, perfect. I love being nice and organized. That is definitely my jam. Having a place for everything for sure is. set up and it also gives me a better visual of what I have and what I don't 
you know, as, as I need to stock up on different pods. So hopefully I have enough room because the first box took up almost um, two rows. So we'll keep going though. Give them a Lozio. That's the coffee, so I'm gonna put that one on this side. Here. So is there anything else that I want to add? I don't think so. Coffee bar is pretty much set up. Like I said, I'm just waiting on one more bottle of my um, syrup to come in and that will be here today. So that's the only thing that will be added and I'll just put it right here next to the pumpkin spice. And so we'll be set there. good to go. So I am going to finish setting up the bar and then I will come back on camera and show you guys the final look. All right, you guys. So here is the final look of my new coffee bar. So as you can see, I have the syrups over here, just waiting on one extra one. So then that will all be set up. And I wanted to keep my cups over here, um, have the cute little coffee bar sign, my bananas, and the Nespresso machine itself. And I just think that it looks really good sitting on top of this uh, pot tray. And as you can see here, you just slide it out and just choose whichever pot um, you are in the mood for that day. So I absolutely love that. Then of course I have my frother right here. And like I said, we still have our Keurig machine. Um, if you know my mom ever wants to use that, this is my new baby. So I'm just gonna focus on her, um, but nothing super fancy, but I love it because it's neat and it's functional and it has everything um, that I need here. So I absolutely love the way that it turned out. I'm actually going to make my very first um, iced coffee tomorrow. So super excited for that. But yeah, yeah, I just wanted to share um, the final look of this coffee bar area. And I decided to go ahead and move the plates over here. And then I just put my um, emergency uh, packets in my, uh, in my pantry here. Just put them inside the pantry. So yeah, like I said, I don't have a whole lot of counter space, but I was able to make it work. And like I said, this is the final, final look. So thank you guys so much for tuning in to this unboxing. I'm definitely going to keep you guys updated on how much I'm enjoying my Nespresso machine and, you know, just even compare it to the Keurig because I've had that machine for about two, two and a half years. So just wanting to see what all the differences are and to see if my um, coffee experience is, is in, improved with my new Nespresso machine. So love it, love it, love it. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.